Before we get to the company L, why not take a look at what the mascot's taken lately, which we're not going into that one, we're still on YouTube after all, but don't let kids transition at 15, says trans woman, 23, so yeah, if you got, you know, turned on by those titties, they a trap, you weirdos, who, uh, tw yes, a 23-year-old trans dude who spoofs Dylan Mulvaney on TikTok. Listen, there's been so much talk, and hell, we even covered a couple of them, a bunch of copycat Dylan Mulvaney's that are out there. Some of them doing hilarious work that Dylan responded to, and then other ones that are doing the exact same stuff that Dylan does, or even other ones that ratchet it up by fitting an entire magnum condom on their forearm. That shit's totally weird, but okay, so now we got, um, what? <laughs> God damn it, because we talk about this all the time as well. Uh, the different trad cucks that are in Congress. Oh, this will be, this will be their trans queen du jour. I, you, you know that sounds far-fetched right now, but does it really, does it really? Kelly Cart Cadigan, uh, whatever, began her medical transition to male, uh, to female when she was just 15. Today, eight years later, she's happy with her decision, but even still, Cadigan thinks other trans kids should have to be 18 before they make irreversible medical decisions. Even though I did my transition very young, I still stand by what I said about minors transitioning. I was very young to be making that decision, and I think I'm very lucky to not be the, uh, one of the people who regrets their de uh, decision to transition. Yeah, one of the legitimate coin toss of people who end up going through transition. Gettigan shared that opinion to close to 1 million TikTok followers. Jesus Christ, I bust my ass every single day and I'm thankful for everybody who signs up on any of the platforms who's watching this stuff. But this marvel of modern medical abomination it has almost a million subscribers and then you have Dylan Mulvaney that has over 6 million. <sighs> Boy, one day. One day. Well, at least I've got a much longer life expectancy, so I'll take that W. In the weeks since, she started a TikTok series in which she chronicles every day she's an out conservative. See, it's gonna be... Uh, I can already see it coming, and it pisses me off so much. Not because it's like, okay, cool. Maybe you're, maybe you're staunch with your positions, and it's all fine and wonderful. It's just, it's so obvious that in 10 years time, any position that the left holds right now, the right will adopt it and then just accuse the left of not being good enough, ist or phobes, whatever it was beforehand. God damn it, if you, as long as you don't have short-term mental health problems, you can see all of this stuff coming, but no, it's got all of the grifts, all of the grifts, God! Oh, it's, it's so tough being a conservative and being a trans person in today's day and age. And then just, yes, being swept up and all of the right side of this stuff. They do the exact same stuff with the trad thoughts that are out there. My... Ugh! Anyways, Cadigan has divided TikTok and become the subject of both praise and rage. Y yep, mm hmm because yeah, okay, fantastic, you're 23 years old, you're out there living your life and you're saying, okay, don't mutilate kids, even though it was a process that you went through at the same time. Like, you also have former addicts who speak out against, you know, the excesses of vice and how it's a terrible thing, which is, well, also vice is a terrible thing, and if you guys are swinging by the stream tonight, I put up a poll on the channel so you have a choice, but between Steven Crowder versus Dave Landau or uh, because Vice is going into bankruptcy. We'll do either one of those. Don't know what we're doing yet, but hey, it's up to you guys at this point in time. Whatever we don't cover today, we'll cover on Saturday for that stream as well. But shameless plug at the beginning, kind of like what you have to do right here in order to make your fake vagina work, you know, just a, a shameful, hairy plug. Cadigan, 23, grew up in a small backwoods town in southern Maine. The northernmost state that's not Alaska. The south, weird. Very, very strange. Uh, she came to terms with her transgender identity at 14 and went through a tough period of transition. Yeah, okay, because you're 23 now, so this was, uh, what, nine years ago? So back when the world was... 2014. Oh my god. So yeah, back when you used to do this type of stuff, not for social media clout, but because, well, you had a certain disposition on life, like Blair White was doing the exact same stuff, and yeah, I know, okay, like I said, maybe Kelly's a totally 
100% you know genuine in their transition or because you're lampooning you know Dylan Mulvaney maybe you're just also ripping off the whole Blair White thing as well because Blair's an out and out conservative and now we're gonna have Kelly the exact same thing and you guys will just go around as the obscure 2020 version of the Bob Z twins it was a definitely pretty isolating Cadigan recalled uh, coming out to my mom and my dad telling them that Oh, I was trans was difficult, but I think at the end of the day, uh, they really had just wanted me to be happy. Uh, Cadigan's family sent her to counseling, and after a year of therapy, she started her medical transition with puberty blockers and hormone replacement therapy. Well, at 14, things have probably already start to happen, so... Yeah. All this shit is just so goddamn haram, but... Yeah, okay, looks like... You know, at least 15 different chicks when I was going to school, okay, but this one was obviously, you know, came with the extra bits, but no, you can definitely, oh, kind of, you know what's weird? Doesn't look too dissimilar, minus, you know, the fake tits, uh, to Mr. Beast's right-hand girl now? But yeah, it's obvious, it's obvious that, um, Kelly's put in the work as opposed to Bud Light spokesperson. That's about all I can handle when it comes to this. So yeah, we got to take some big W's that are over here. Well, that is just kind of an obfuscated and difficult to pro or process. I don't know. It really doesn't much matter in the grand scheme of things. So yeah, we'll just forget that ever happened. But Bud Light sales drop 21% in wake of Bud... Uh, of Dylan Mulvaney fiasco. They're in serious trouble. No, 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 okay? They didn't effectively show the most efficient way to kill off a brand in the course of a short one-month period. No, no, no. We were told multiple times over, trans representation is here to stay when it comes to advertising. Okay, Bud Light's gonna weather the storm. They're gonna spend a bunch of money on marketing. Hell, did you guys just check out? Now, a lot of people have. Multiple millions of people have checked out the ads. Ratio, not all that good, and you can leave a call. Oh, wait, you can't leave a comment because all of that stuff is turned off, but no, it's fine. All of those dumb rubes and hicks, they're gonna come back, and oh, wait, there's alternatives that are out there. Oh boy, it's totally done, huh? Bud Light is a 2023 equi er, equivalent. The old Schlitz beer. Y'all remember that? If I can't find it, listen, I made a Bobsy Twins reference earlier, okay? Let's, trying to be the oldest man with references, okay? Staggering sales hit for Bud Light is worsening. With each passing week following an ill-fated marketing tie-up with transgender goof Dylan Mulvaney with last week or with the latest weekly figures showing a 21% drop. It's getting lampooned to hell and back. Everybody and their mother immediately associate Bud Light with um not oil, not windshield washer fluid. Oh right, tranny fluid. That's what immediately comes to mind. It's no longer, you know, canned horse piss. No, 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 no. It's got a much more lampoonable persona. Oh, well, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. During the week ended April 22nd. The most recent industry data available, Bud Light sales plunged 21% versus a year ago, accelerating a 17% slide a week earlier and an initial weekly drop of 6% when the controversy kicked off during the first week of April, according to Nielsen IQ and Bump Williams Consulting. Bump, 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 bump it. No, there's no up in this situation. It's all down from here. Meanwhile, beer volumes, the can or the number of cases sold, whether it's at 12, 18, or 24, dropped an even steeper 26%. Yo, versus the 21% drop a week earlier and the initial 11. Wow. Wow. So pure volume. Nobody's buying it. Nobody's buying revenues down across the board. There's TikToks, jokes, Instagram reels, YouTube shorts about anybody who's purchasing. Bud Light is a follower of Dylan Mulvaney or Kelly. I don't even remember. Neither will history. Um, the other person's TikTok. Like, yo. That's an indication that Bud Light's core customers, who typically buy their beer in bulk, I guess if you call it, yeah, 12 or 24 pack in bulk, but okay, are ditching the brand. Yes, beverage expert Bump Williams said in a Tuesday interview. Larger packages of Bud Light are not being purchased. The 30-pack suitcases, the 20-packs, 18-packs, 12-packs, they're all impacted, Williams told the Post. It's going to be very, very hard to reverse 
the decline. Bud Light remains the best-selling beer in the United States, with sales last year topping $4.8 billion. By comparison, the number two brand, Modelo Especial, is that what uh, Biden's handed out down at the southern border, sold $3.75 billion. While Michelob Ultra, also an Anheuser-Busch product, uh, generated $3.3 billion in sales. Yo, man, I'm in the wrong industry. I need to start selling booze, apparently. But yeah, that's the face of everybody in the marketing department right now. Bruh, we... Oof, uh, the shit continues to go downhill like this. Okay, we're just going to slide deeper and deeper and deeper into this bathtub right now. Fill it up with all of the unsold Bud Light in the background. Yo... Nevertheless, the precipitous sales drop over the past few weeks have left its sales year to date down a painful 8%, threatening Bud Light's leading position. No, I thought it was a dying brand, according to a woke bitch who's on vacation right now. Oh well. The latest sales data shows, unless parent Anheuser-Busch turned things around, then Bud Light is in serious trouble this year. I think it runs the risk of losing that number one position. Oh, that's all but certain at this point in time. Like, I don't know what the marketing budget for Modelo is, but I'll tell you what, as long as they don't hire RuPaul to start chucking cans into audiences, it's pretty much, it's pretty much guaranteed. But hey... If sales continue to go down, we know at least one person who's going to be staunch in their support for Bud Light, who's definitely, hey, you know what, if things even get bad for the parent company as well, switch over to Bud Heavy, because how else can you possibly explain that amount of weight gain and just a short couple of weeks but with all of that said and hey like i mentioned before we got the stream here in a couple hours time or i don't know by the time that this gets posted regardless it'll be six o'clock mountain time that'll be eight out east it'll be five in the west seven in the central and if we don't catch you then well we'll see you tomorrow in the next couple videos and whatever bud light does that's stupid because like i said multiple times before and like you can tell probably in your home feed for youtube or anywhere else where you're looking right now this train this bud light train ain't stopping it's going completely off a cliff and we can all just once again take a look over and realize that oof gosh this boycott this one's one for the history books it was the perfect confluence of events and something that other companies are going to learn for or from or suffer a similar fate I'm going to side with the latter. So with all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.